Hello and welcome to my, my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, I am a Yahoo or, or Stephen Loomis. Uh, you all probably know me from my videos or from the Dice Tower Werewolf group. Uh, I have very much enjoyed uh, being a part of the group and recording my games and uploading them. Uh, but uh, there's a lot more to life than Blood on the Clock Tower, and I have always dabbled with the thought of, uh, becoming more active in the, uh, YouTube community or whatever, and I've never known a YouTube channel to be incredibly successful with just one game. Uh, obviously... Blood on the Clock Tower will remain a strong component uh, of the channel, but I'd like to start uh, peppering in uh, reviews or, or something. Like, I, I don't necessarily have a style, and I will say with the Blood on the Clock Tower, I definitely learned as I went along, and obviously I got better hardware, and uh, I definitely have more to learn and better hardware to buy. Uh, the Dice Tower, after all, which I'm not affiliated with in any way, in case there's any confusion there. Uh, if you watch their very old videos, you'll notice that they've come a long way. And a very regular thing they talk about is uh, improving. So um, I definitely am interested in improving, but we have to start somewhere after all. So what my current plan is, is to review every game that I play, which currently uh, I go to my friend's house, John Ilko, who is somebody that you guys all, well, many of you know uh, from the Werewolf group. Uh, we go down there once a month and play quite a few games. And my plan is to document the experience uh, with photos so that I can uh, retain thoughts and then afterwards record a video for each game that we play, which I am an Omni gamer. Uh, I tend to enjoy learning and playing new games, uh, to playing uh, games that I have played. I do have favorite games, so my favorite games can probably come up with at least 10. <laughs> it's not a written top 10, but we'll call it a top 10, and I'll just go through quickly. So there's a couple that have to be on the list just because they have to be on the list, and I don't know if they're number one or... We'll just say Magic the Gathering is number one. I spent probably two years or more playing exclusively Magic the Gathering, and it is an incredibly well-designed game. Now, that being said, I don't know that I'll ever play it uh, at the level that I was playing it. Uh, I do have a few decks that cost several hundred dollars, uh, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But that's a whole nother thing. Um, so, Magic the Gathering, I think, has to be number one. Uh, number two is something that's very out of my ordinary, and I've only played it maybe half a dozen times, and possibly will never play it again, and that is Twilight Imperium 4. That is an incredible game. Uh, the reason I don't typically like it is because I do not like... Uh, games that the players uh, have to create balance. And that is very much a thing in Twilight Imperium 4. Uh, it is, well, I don't know. It's just the most amazing game there ever was. Every mechanic that you could ever throw into it has been thrown into it. And it's incredible. And if you, <laughs> if you don't believe me, you'll have to try. Because I want to play every game that was ever designed. And Twilight Imperium is quite high on the top ten list or at the top, whatever, the whole list for, for BGG, and so I wanted to play it, and I thought that I would play it once, and that would be that, and I would scratch it off my list and never play it again. And I was like, holy heck, this is the most amazing game there ever was. <laughs> so, uh, any time I've had an opportunity, I've played it since, and I've uh, made my group play it uh, as well, uh, and it's amazing. It has... Uh, negotiation, resource management, tech tree, uh, diplomacy, uh, like, it, it, it's just amazing. Uh, people tend to get caught up in their character, and, 
you know, role play. And then at the very end of the game, there's a very, it, it comes down to jockeying for points and like much like in Catan, where a great way to win is to have a couple secret victory points or be able to, to get a bunch of points very quickly. Uh, that's definitely a thing in Twilight Imperium 4 because if it's super obvious that you're winning, well, then everyone will gang up on you and then the next person will win. So the trick is to be in a position to spring at the right time and score the 10th point and win. And I have never won, but it's absolutely incredible. Anyway, I spent quite a bit of time talking about that. Uh, now let's go down to the more traditional games on my list, which would be, we'll say, Scythe, Terraforming Mars, Crusaders. Uh, we'll put uh, Concordia, uh, Food Chain Magnate, uh, Great Western Trail, um, Teotihuacan, uh, I don't know if I'd had enough games on my list yet. Let me think for a minute. <laughs> Say Age of Steam and uh, Roads and Boats. And I've probably listed at least 10 games. Uh, there's definitely a theme uh, in the games that I have on my list. Oh, there was another one. All right. So for good measure, I'll throw in Heaven and Ale and Tapestry. Uh, so... Uh, obviously what makes a great game to me is Euro games. Uh, I personally enjoy the puzzle of figuring out my thing and playing it. Uh, some people call that uh, multiplayer solitaire, like for instance, Scythe. In Scythe, uh, you have your personal player board and you have your personal island or peninsula, and for a good chunk of the game, you really don't interact with each other. And, and furthermore, uh, typically in the game, there are relatively few conflicts. Now, you definitely have to be aware of how conflict works. I'm not, I'm not totally against player interaction, but I do not enjoy games that are very mean. Like, for instance, Dominant Species, which is a good game, but it's not the kind of game that I like, because in that game, you go <laughs> for the jugular, and, you know, much like the theme, uh, you're trying to be the Dominant Species, it, it's, a, it's a pretty frustrating game to play. I, I don't enjoy that, which is why I was saying Twilight Imperium 4 uh, not necessarily the kind of game I would typically like. Uh, but the thing is, is that there's rules, and then rules are meant to be broken. So, you know, that's fine. Um, you know, I, I would say I'm an Omni gamer. Uh, I don't know if I always was, but uh, most of my gaming is with John, and he has a very large game collection, and we typically play a game one time, and then never again. Unless it's one of the greats, like for instance, Scythe I've probably played a dozen times. Maybe even more. Oh, Terraforming Mars, I don't know if I mentioned that. That's definitely a great game. I've probably played that more than pretty much any game. Uh, except for Blood on the Clock Tower, which I've played an astronomically crazy amount of. Um, but, uh, anyway, the point is, is that I go and I play games, and then... Uh, I'd like to review those games. So that's going to be my intention going forward. And uh, I just had a gaming weekend. We unusually played several of the games twice, so I didn't play as many games this weekend as I normally do. But I have about five uh, games that I think I can review. And so that will be my plan. And uh, I make no promises about uh, the quality. But I will work to improve, and if anybody has comments or whatever, uh, feel free to obviously leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, uh, this should be a fun ride. I guess I'll show off what my intentions are. So, uh, I will not be videoing the games. Uh, I do take photographs of everything that I play, but 
it's more for my own memory than anything else. Maybe I will uh, incorporate that. But currently my plan basically is, uh, it's obviously this is like, you know, my camera and then I shut it off and nope, that's not what it, and then you see BGG and obviously BGG has every game. So like for instance, Dune Imperium is a game I played. However, it was a while ago and I don't necessarily know that I have thoughts on it. It was a delightful game, but I would, uh, basically pull it up, talk about it and you can see my face and there are, here we go, images. And so I can pull things up and tell you about the things and such. And, uh, it's definitely not going to be the best, uh, content that there ever was but you know i'll give you my opinions try to keep them short and uh i have a couple other ideas but that's basically the plan and uh i hope that you uh hate it <laughs> uh, until next time